Ethan? Ethan! Alright, now we get to play as him, I guess. Maybe he won't turn out to be a prick. Maybe he'll just turn out to be a guy playing the loot. find him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I win. Congratulations, your lordship. That wasn't a great hiding spot either. Don't I mean, worry. You could easily find it's him just there. Just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm Ryan. You were gone. Blah, 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 blah. So he'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Exposition, she exposition. I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gerard to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Gerard. He was nice. I don't know what he did to get sent away like that. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. Hmm. So Royland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know. Means you're a soppy, milky, wet blanket Ethan, like. You should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Huh. Yeah, you show them with your skills and a we stick. And we all used to play here. You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the lord in training. And he never smiled anymore. And Asha... Asha just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. Just the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities. Are. But you don't need to be like them. Hmm. It's for you to decide for yourself. I, mean, I don't want to change. Want to get angry. But I probably will. But I may have to. Father did sometimes. But you're nice. Everybody says that about you. Well, I guess I was wrong about this kid. Thought he was going to be a Joffrey. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. Uh huh. That's how you run a kingdom. <laughs> With that simple. That's how it you would run be a nice kingdom. Nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord, a proper lord. As many as you'd like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Of course. Why not? Yeah, obviously. It's how you run a kingdom. Sweets for Nathan, everyone. You're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Mm -hmm. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyways. Fine. I want to do my justice. If that's what's required of me. Very well, then. <coughs> Sorry, friends. I must do the justice. I must put down the hammer. 
I must deliver the message that you white whole fuckers can't get away with this shit. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men go over. Very clear good cop, bad cop going on here. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. Alright, I'll shake your hand. We'll play. We'll play nice. Oh dear. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the oh, dagger into his heart. I shouldn't myself. have done that. What a fucking prick. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. How dare you? I dare, and I'll do as I damn well please. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. So if I give you bread and no salt, then courtesies. I can't kill you. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord. Yeah. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye, and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries, you cunt. Hmm. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. Lord Whitehill, please. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the Ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. Well, I wonder why you attacked no him. You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. He was defending his family as any man would. But your men murdered them all. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? Answer me! Who's the one who did it? You heard me. He was sent to the wall. It's done. What? That was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? One a house that doesn't of appreciate. honorable men. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That lad may be Lord of this 
house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. Mm -hmm. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. You're a craven, you prick. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. Alright, no turning back and insulting me. Alright, that's fine. Oh, that guy. Oh, what a bastard. Defiance or diplomacy? I don't know. I guess I want more I was more wrong about defiance. your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Alright, I guess. Off to King's Landing we go! Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favour. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the King may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. She certainly looks like Marjorie Tyrell. Wearing the exact same clothes. I guess that's just the Tyrell handmaiden garb. I believe it is. Alright, well, we get to control her now. Yay! What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the ironwood box? What have we got? Oh, many bits and pieces. Unfinished letter. Let's read it. Hmm. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Well, I guess I never finished that letter. That's a shame. A yunkish? Why do we have a Yunkish coin? Asher sent me this coin. Ah, oh, there we him? go. No, I get it. a strange it. place, Essos. I don't know, it's not that strange. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Oh, wow. That is... That's high praise. Ethan made this for me. Okay. Box of memories, I guess. Very strong box of memories. It's made of iron wood. So that's nice. What else we got? Oh, some banana. Can I take a banana? Come on, girl. You know you want the banana. You want you want that banana right now. Come on, pick it up. Pick, pick. I hate this. I want the banana. All right. It's all I want in my life is that banana. It's not letting me do it. Okay, what's over here? Dusty old One was made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. All these gifts from all these people. Some I hope of whom to are see dead. them all someday. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah, I hope you see Roderick one day. That would be nice. Unfortunately. He's landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Hmm. Okay. Anything over here? Okay, there's a letter there from Mother. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. I could go to the door, but I did want to check this thing first. Oh, it's not going to let me now. Oh. Damn it. Should have checked that pot before I read the letter. One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Um, no, it's fine. No, it's fine. Come in. What? What is it with me and saying the exact words that the characters are just about to say? I did this loads in Uncharted. I guess I'm just an amazing writer, you know? I guess I'm just... I have the talent. I should be writing these video Again, games. Your pardon, my lady, but you're right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. Um. It's private. I'd rather not say. 
Of course, my lady. I didn't mean to pry. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. Oh, I guess if I looked in there, it would be like, oh, you don't have any coal. I wonder if the you coal boy will come. Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong. But I don't work for her, like mate. You do. I'm her bezzy mate. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. Yeah, of course we are. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Uh oh. Cersei? That's bad. They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was mm. definitely an argument. You were eavesdropping? No, not at all. I was just passing by and I heard them arguing about House Forrester and- House Forrester? Well, tell me I what you know. to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Guess so. Good night, my lady. It's how Varys has so many little birds all over the place. All these people that no one pays attention to. Really, they're the master spies. They lady did not Marjorie, do a good job with her own. nose. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come. There's something we must discuss. This is really weird, because this is, uh... This is actually her, speaking. But her nose looks fucked up in this art style. On the style. day you arrived in Highgarden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Oh no. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. How did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens, that you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Nonetheless, she demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know, but... She's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. All right. I'll try. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. What are you looking at? Punk? You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Time to face Queen Bitch herself. Oh, nice modeling of the uh, the hall. Oh yeah, Tyrion. Yeah, be on my side, son. You can do this. Yeah, I can. Are they gonna let me walk to her? Yeah, they. Oh shit, I can control this. Nice. This is cool. It's the the long, slow walk down the hall as everyone looks at you. Ah, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, 
Allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Um... Neil. Your Grace. The Queen is Don't pleased. Courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. The Queen is pleased. House Queen Forrester is, pleased. is a northern house loyal to the King. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the King? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. House Forrester's loyalty to the Crown never wavers, Your Grace. I see. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. No, shut up, you bitch. Ah, uh, oh. Silence. I'm not saying anything. Shrug. Shrug. The girl is here to explain herself, yet says nothing. Oh, no. My apologies, Your Grace. I'm sure it's just a momentary lapse. <sighs> is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? No, because he's a fucking prick. He's the new warden, I guess. He is the warden of the north, your grace. He is. And I, the queen regent, and Tyrion, the master of coin. Okay. She is... Yep. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while in fact saying nothing at all. <laughs> Tyrion's face looks fucking weird. So Old allegiances actually. are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. Not for long. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Um... There are limits, Your Grace. Perhaps, but not if your house faces potential ruin. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, exactly. wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. Exactly. Nailed it, as always. Tyrion on fire. an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? According to you, yeah, but... I'm not gonna judge her. I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she would- Let the would... girl answer the question. I... Go on. My would be conflicted. Would conflict, your grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who thinks she can play games. I can play games, who right? Who choose? Oh, fucking fuck you. I swear to Marjorie, so fuck I you. I must choose Marjorie, your grace. Clearly your handmaiden does not have her priorities straight. Yeah, I do, actually. Because you're a bitch. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's <laughs> I'm not quite sure what to make of her. Not surprising, I suppose, for a northern girl. But not very encouraging either. 
I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Well, that didn't go well, did it? I'll walk you out. Yay! This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. You were brave to declare your loyalty to Lady Marjorie. No doubt she was pleased, but Cersei, she will not soon forget what you said. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. Of course you did, because you're amazing. it certainly amazing. wasn't what Cersei was expecting. I don't particularly like her. <laughs> that was fairly apparent to everyone. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Hell Marjorie yeah. might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? Hmm. It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You if I'm going to go with anyone, girl, aren't you? if I'm going to go with anyone, I'm going to go with Tyrion. I'll consider it. Tell you what. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Yes, indeed. Well, I told you, if I'm going to go with anyone, I'm going to go with Tyrion. So I'm choosing his path. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Oh yeah. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, uh -huh. what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. I think Which he's I quite is handsome, actually. He is quite handsome. Um, and Jay? quite passionate. From what I've heard. Um, Jay? Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Ooh. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Marrying Joffrey? Well, that's a different thing. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? Fuck no! Get out he of here, have girl! A certain look about him. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Uh, no, not really. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Mm-hmm. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Uh, dilly-dallying? Well? 
It wasn't me, my lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be a bit sure, friend. This is That's not it. a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was rather disappointed by your display, Mirror. I'm just glad it's over. Mm -hmm. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am Queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? I mean, they basically love you already, so... Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Uh, mm, yeah. Um, mm. I already kind of asked Tyrion for help, didn't I? Huh. Mm. <sighs> I'm gonna look. I'm look. I a family needs help any way it can get. Let's just try fucking everyone. I, I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. I bet this go is going to, like, make her go blabbing then. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? Kill him? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought... If a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise, but my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. Uh. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't fear her. She's she's not going to have any power soon. Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, Yay. my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. 